on in. Everyone, I should Come be on. seeing less mouths moving and more butts moving. Ready to learn some winter holiday signs? Yee! I'm really excited. Okay, um, let me turn on my keyboard here. All right, first and foremost. Hold on. I'm still getting used to typing. Hold on. Why well, can't I can't type S? Okay, there we go. Let me turn this off. Woohoo! Christmas! Okay. We're going to be having a C hand, if my index would do it. C hand. We're going to be having our uh, flat arm with our hand rested under our elbow. And we're going to go like this. Christmas. Christmas. A good way to remember this is it's a whole day. It's a whole day. So here's the sun rising Christmas morning. And then it sets again and Christmas is over. So it's Christmas. Yay, Christmas. So, by the way, I suck at spelling, so please don't make fun of me if I misspell something, okay? <laughs> I'm a sign teacher, not an English teacher. Okay, celebrate. If you are using index, or if you are doing this in real life, we're going to have X hands, which looks like that. And then we're going to be going in circles. If you don't have index, you're just using pointer fingers, okay? Celebrate! Celebrate! Yay! You're going to have it pointed towards yourself, not this. Like this. And you're going to have it alternating. You have another different variation? Yep, also, celebrate. Celebrate, that's another way to sign it. So instead of, instead of going like this, you could also be in the same way like this. Celebrate. Celebrate. Or celebrate. Celebrate. Awesome. Okay, ready? I'm going to misspell this, so let me pull up <laughs> my sheet so I cannot misspell this. <laughs> Hold on. Here we go. <gasps> oh, my Wi-Fi. It's not loading. Okay. Well, you guys can just make fun of me for spelling it wrong. Oh, God. Please don't kill me. I'm sorry. I don't know. Somebody could spell it right. I know it's wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. You're going to be having open hands like this. And then you're going to be going in that shape of the menorah with those eight candles. So if you don't have index, you could just be using open hands. But if you do have index, you're going to be having that thumb in. Because of the four candles on each side. You might also see some people do it like this. I've always signed it that way. Not towards myself, but this way. But it's okay if you do it that way. And I'm sorry for misspelling, I know. <laughs> um, beep, beep. Hold on. This is kind of a, a janky keyboard. I feel like that's wrong, too. Whatever. Candle. Ooh, every candle. This is the part of the, the wick. I guess it's called wick, I think. There's the, the flame. Candle. Candle, yep. If you don't have index, you could do that. You're opening and relaxing your hand. Candle. Candle. Could I, could I boost it up? Okay, there we go. Cold. If you're all cold, what are you doing? You're shivering. Oh my gosh, it's cold. Wow. In real life, you'd be showing with your expressions. If it's really cold, you're like, <gasps> you're sucking in your teeth. <sighs> you're going to show that with your face, right? Or you, maybe you're shaking even more. You're crouching down. Ah, it's so cold. Right? Next is snow, 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 snow. Falling down just like that. Snow. Wow, snow. I live in California, so we don't have that here. <laughs> we have water. <laughs> I live in New Jersey, so I have snow. <laughs> You're lucky. 
I don't have it. <laughs> All right. Next. Ice slash. Ice or freeze. You're going to be starting with an open hand in front of you like this. And then pew, you bend to a claw shape like that. Ice or freeze. <gasps> freeze. Then you're frozen. <laughs> so this is ice or freeze, just like that. <clears throat> this is also if you want to describe lag. If you're saying, hold on, I can't see you. You're frozen. There's so much lag. Everyone's frozen. Same thing. Same thing. You could use that like that. Freeze. Everyone's just frozen. What's going on? Okay. And then... Ice skating or ice skates. Again, you're going to have two bent fingers. If you don't have index, you're going to be using pointer fingers. Okay. And then you're going to go ice skating, ice skates, or ice skating. Boo, ice skates. Boo, I'm ice skating. And the reason is if you look at the shoes for ice skates, here's the shoe, and they have this little bent, the blade bends at the top just like that. And you're showing it like Ben. Little little question, little trivia. Who could tell me why that little blade bends at that front? Why is that there? Why is there that bend? This isn't a sign trivia. This is just an ice skating trivia. Who can who could tell me why? Do you want to take a guess, Kai? Yeah, I'll take a guess. Um, is it because is it for like um, ease of access or just like when you're skating, it's just like easier because if it's like just flat it'd be um you'd just be like not able to like go backwards or forwards basically for, like maneuvering That's a good capability guess. yeah do you want to add on to that i'm gonna butcher your name so yeah you, you... razi razi i don't know how to pronounce your name sorry it's it's razi you got it right um okay. i don't think this is why it has the curve but i know all the skates i've had um on the curved up bit is where they put a little bit of breaking like little like ser uh, serrated mm -hmm, bit like on spikes. there to, to use for like breaking so you would like push up on that to kind of break yourself so that's a really common thing that people think because if anyone has ever roller skated before there's that little stopper at the front and you use your foot and you go like that and it stops you but with ice skating if you were to do that you know what would happen <sighs> You'd fall on your face. <laughs> so actually, the real reason for that twisty bit with the ridge is for jumps. Um, and if you've ever seen those uh, performers, what they do is when they spin or jump, they will use that bit and they'll push it into the ice and then jump off of it. And I actually ice skated for three years competitively. And I... I learned a lot about how like ice skates work and I just find it very interesting that a lot of people see that bend bit and they're like, I don't know what that's for. <laughs> so yeah, a little bit of fun fact, that little part you see at the front, it's for jumps and spins. So guess what? Now you could go around to all your friends and be like, yeah, I know what that little bent part is for. Do you know? I bet you don't know. <laughs> all right. So there you go. I just gave you some bragging rights. Okay. All right. Uh, next, let me pull up my list here to make sure I don't miss anything. Give me one second. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, okay, cute. So, decorate. There's a lot of different variations for this, but most of them are going to have that mom mia hand. You know that hand that you do where you push your thumb and your fingers flat like that. And so there's either one like this, decorate or decorations. You're gonna go all the way around, just like the ornaments. You're wrapping them all around, decorate, decorate. Or you might also see decorate like this, decorate, I've seen decorate, decorate. There's a lot of different ones, but this is the most common one that you're gonna see, decorate, decorate. You have a question, Kai? Yeah, um, so is this also uh, valid where they do this, like, going down? 
Can like you also this? do it like this? Yeah, is that- Um, so that- that would come down to classifiers. So let's say I'm ex explaining that I want to decorate this right here. And they're like, how are you going to decorate it? You're like, well, I'm going to put it all the way down, just like this. Or you're describing, I want to decorate a tree. So you're going to be putting it around the tree. You're going around. So it really depends on where you're decorating and how you are. So if you're doing it up here or down here or up and down, like you said. So yes, that would be, but you're only going to use that in the context of a decoration being up and down. Does that make sense? Cool. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Eh. Hold on. Fireplace. Fire. Everyone. Fire. Place. Or place. So place. You're going to be having a P hand, which if you don't have index, is just this. And it's either upwards like this or down like this. And fire is you're showing the flames go up. Fire. So you're going to say fire, place. Fire, place. Good. And then I feel like I'm going to misspell this one too. Hold on. Oh, okay. Chimney, you can just say, there's two different variations. It could be the fire, and then you show up, like this, or smoke, and then you go up, like this. So smoke, this is almost like the top of the chimney, and then you show the smoke coming out of it, smoke. And then both variations, either fire or smoke. Afterwards, you're going to be using kind of like this bent hand, up, and you're going to be showing that shape of the chimney. So either fire up or smoke up. Both of those work. Doo -doo -doo. Whoop. Mm -mm. Mm. Okay, so there's two versions of this. One of them you can use with index. You're going to be having your middle finger down connected with your thumb. You go on your chin, bloop, bloop, you flick, bloop. If you don't have index and you want to try this, you could use rock and roll. Flick, 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 right on your chin. Flick. Another variation is you're going to have start with closed hands like this above you. Pew, and they turn on. Where's the lights? I can't see. <gasps> okay, they're on. Don't worry. <laughs> you're turning those lights on. It's almost like the beam of light is exploding on you. So either light, or lights, or light. Lights. Okay? Does that make sense? What's my next one? Ooh, yay! Cookie or cookies? Everyone, you're going to have a C hand, and an open hand, and you're going to show the shape of that cookie. C for cookie. And then you're showing that shape. It's almost like what you look when you do cookie cutters. Except you're doing it on your open hand showing the cookie cutter. Cookie. Cookie. Nom nom nom. And then... Milk. You gotta have milk with cookies. Looks like you're just milking a cow. <laughs> There's the udder of the cow. You're squeezing the udder. Fresh milk. Woohoo! <laughs> this is a really good sign to know for babies. Because a lot of the time, babies want to communicate that they're hungry, but they don't know how. So a lot of the times, parents will teach their babies how to say milk. Milk. A lot of deaf, hard of hearing, or even hearing families will teach their babies this sign. Milk. A little trivia there. Milk. And then, if we have all the cookies and milk, we have to have... We gotta have Santa. <laughs> We're going to have two C hands, big beard, showing that huge beard coming from him. Ho, ho, ho. He's got that big beard coming all the way. Yep. Or you can do one hand, showing the beard one-handed with a C hand. I always do it with two hands, but you may also do it with one. Santa or Santa. And then I feel like I'm going to misspell this, so hold on. Uh, it's E-I.
reindeer. If we have Santa, he has to come with his reindeer. So we're going to have two five hands like this on our head coming out. Reindeer. They've got those big antlers. Reindeer. Reindeer. Woo! Reindeer. Yep. And then... So... Snowman is what we learned before. Snow man. Snow man. But now it's 2020. A lot of people don't really like how it says man because it could be snow girls or snow boys or non binary people. So if you want, you could say snow person. If you want to say that. If you want to be a little bit more gender neutral, <laughs> you could say snow person. That's totally fine too. So if you want to say snow woman, snow man, or snow person, that's totally fine. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so we have the cookies. We have the milk. We have the reindeer. And we have Santa. So what else do we have to have? We gotta have presents. We're going to be having these same hands that we've been using a lot, those X hands. If you don't have X hands, you're going to be using pointer. And you have this present, and you've given it to them. It's like that box. Present! Have a present! I'm giving you this present of knowledge. Present. Present. All right, we got the presents. We got the food. We got the celebration. But something's missing. We gotta have the Christmas tree. Tree. There you go. You have the ground, the floor, whatever it is, and you're gonna be wiggling that, that hand, just like that. So for Christmas tree, you might see people do Christmas tree, Christmas tree, or some people do, 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 do like that. That's a little bit more of a kitty or childish sign. Also seen some people do this with sea hands. Christmas tree, like that. Or Christmas tree, just like that. So you get to decide which way you want to sign that. But tree. Okay, cool. We've given Santa all of our cookies and our milk. We have all these presents underneath the tree. But what are we missing? We are missing the most important part of Christmas or any other winter holiday. You know what that is? It's family. You're going to have two F hands, and you're going to go around in a circle. If you don't have F hands, you just do this. Family. It's really important to know that that's the most important part of Christmas or any other winter holiday. It's not about the presents. It's not about the stress. It's not about the finals. It's about family. We're going to make sure that we're going to be spreading that love, right? I know that this year is very hard. 2020 has been kind of crazy. Right now, it might be a very stressful time for a lot of you guys, but I want you to know, even if you can't see your real life family, you have a family here, okay? And I really want to make sure that all you guys are feeling welcomed here and that you have a home here. And, and I think I want you guys to feel responsible for looking out for every single one of you guys here. I want you guys to feel like you can talk to anyone sitting next to you or sitting behind you. and. I really want you guys to take away from this lesson that we are a family here. And even when it's not Christmas, I want you to feel like, you know what, I'm going to say something nice to somebody today. Or, you know what, I'm going to let people know. If they need to talk to me, they can. Okay? I don't want to get mushy on you, but it's really important to me. Okay? <laughs> okay. Let's see. So, you guys can ask any questions of any signs that I maybe missed or some more stuff you want to learn. It doesn't have to be Christmas related. Could be anything. Yeah, PP, what's up? I'm gonna uh, try again for a sake uh, of it. Gingerbread cookie. Uh, but I'm watching bread. it uh, live on the on the spelled. Discord. I don't know if there's a sign. I just finger spell. I don't know if Ray. Yeah, same. 
Yeah, just finger spell it, ginger, and then you can say bread, cookie, or man, or person. Yep. Any other questions? Like I said, it doesn't have to be about Christmas. Yeah, Ty, what's up? Can you come forward a little bit? You're blocked by names. I'm going to ask you to come forward. Thank you. You're fine. You're lagging. You're lagging. I can't see you. I can't see you. You're lagging way too much. You're in slow mo. You're in slow mo. Okay, Kai Box, you know what I'm going to ask you to do? Go ahead and Discord me, and I'll answer that for you. You can Discord me. You could either private DM me or you can sign it. Uh, you can do it in class text, okay? And I saw Toy Kitty, your hand was up. Do you have a question? Is, 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 is they just lagging for me? Hold on. Why don't you, let's try this toy. Come here. If, if we, if we're facing away from all the other people, if you come here, is it the people? Go ahead and try and sign to me. Yeah, now I can see you. Okay, go ahead. Fireplace. Yeah, you can use that. Yep, that's fine. You could say fire, kind of looks like fire box, but yeah, that's fine. So instead of saying place, you could say fire and then go like this. Cause you know, fireplaces are usually like that. That's totally fine. Yeah, good question. See, any other questions? Like I said, could be about anything. Do you have one, Wolf? Did you d discord me? Hold on. Oh no, Momento. Ah. I did not see anything. Do you want to just say it out loud? Are you comfortable with that? I'll just one sign. Merry Christmas. Oh, good question. Okay. So, Mary, you're going to just sign happy. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. <laughs> That would translate to Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! And Kai Fox, let's make sure your mic is muted. We could all hear you breathing. <laughs> I'm glad you're living and breathing. Uh, I think I saw Frosty. Did you have a question, Frosty? No? Okay. Well then, Orion... Orion. Uh, you. Orion! Yep. Okay. Um, so I was in the ASL experimental world, I saw snow like this. I've never seen snow with that before. I've always signed it open hand like that. I've always oh, ever okay. signed it like that. That might be Thank an you. error, but I'm not going to say that it's wrong. It might just be another variation, but I've always signed it personally with open hands. Yeah, good question. Okay. I thought I saw somebody else's hand up. Did I miss somebody? Cam, Cam me? You have a question? Cammy says, no, no, no. Okay, KW, you have a question? <laughs> plate for the cookie. So plate is going to just be, yep, just like that. You're going to be showing that plate in front of you. Plate. Plate. Put all the cookies loaded on the plate. Razzy, you have a question? What's up? Slut? Sledding? Uh, so, I've seen s I've seen, like, going down, kind of like ice skating. You're like, you're going down. So it's more like a downward motion, like you're going down. Um, I've also seen, like, one, one of them. Because there's some sleighs with only one blade. So I've seen that, and I've seen that. Um... Yeah, that's how I've always signed it. Yep, with the same X hands. Yep. Yeah, Sydney. Yeah, you have a question? Quanta? I don't know that one. Shay, do you know? You want to come up here and show me? <laughs> oh, it's hot. 
Oh, okay. I've never seen that. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> That's how I said it. That's how I said it. Okay, cool. I learned something new today. Nice. You got a question? Reddit Chungus. Wow, nice name. <laughs> so, um, if I wanted to say, like, present day, would I say present day? No, no, no. So that's only going to be in the context of like a gift. Present as in like the current time or now. You're going to be using two Y hands. If you don't have Y hands, you can do thumbs. And you're going to go down one time. This means now, current, or present. You're not going to use this in that context. But that's a really good question. So you're going to be one time. Yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? <laughs> Wolf, you're jumping up and down. Did you Discord me? Or do you want to say it out loud? I'll say it out loud. Um, okay. I know it can be angel build, but is there a elf? Oh, yes. Yes, I think I heard you right. Did you say elf? Yeah. Okay. Elf, you're going to have two L hands, and you're going to go on your uh, side of your head and pull. Because of those pointy ears. Elf. Elf. Just like that. I was actually going to teach that one, but I forgot. Thank you. Elf! And safety juice! I think I also saw you jump up and down. Do you have a question? Candy cane! Or... I think there's... What's, what's the other name for candy cane? Oh, whatever. But you sign candy. Candy. The size sign candy. On your cheek. Candy. And then you show the shape of the cane. I've seen it one-handed. Or two-handed. Just candy, cane, just like that. Candy, cane. You have a question, Brad guy? I'm gonna sit down. Mistletoe. <laughs> um, I've seen like you're holding it up and then you like kiss and or like shaking it. Yeah, like shaking it, kiss. Like just holding it above you, kiss or kiss like that. I've seen that. Yep. Whew, hold on, I'm hot. Yeah, Steph, what's up? Cole, you fingerspell Cole. Cole. C-O-A-L. Cole, fingerspell. Yep. Let's see, any others? Any others? You have a question, Decent? What's up? Chocolate! Chocolate. Uh, you have a C hand in a circle. Chocolate. Or you could say hot chocolate. Yep, pee pee. Hot chocolate. Chocolate. Who could tell me what this means? Looks similar. What does that mean? Church. Not in a circle. Yeah, good one. This is church. I'll tell you a funny story, okay? So one time, there was this deaf little girl. And her mom was hearing, and she had a birthday coming up. So she asked uh, her mom, Mom, I really want a cake this year, and I really want it to be special. The mom said, Okay, what kind of cake do you want? And the little girl said, I want a chocolate cake. The mom said, Okay, I'll make that cake for you. However much goes by, her birthday arrives, her mom brings over the cake, slams it on the table. It's a cake in the shape of a church? The little girl looks up and says, Well, that's a little weird, but at least it's chocolate. Cuts it open. Well, it's vanilla! She looks at her mom. Mom, I asked for a chocolate cake. What? I thought you said church cake. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so it's really important to know the difference. <laughs> You're not eating a hot church. You're having some hot cocoa. <laughs> okay. Let's do one or two more questions, and then we'll go ahead and take a picture. You have a question? Cheers or alcohol? That can mean a lot of different things. Made the eggnog. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. 
Just like clinking it. It's just a classifier. Cheers! 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 Yep. Alcohol. That's alcohol. Alcohol. <laughs> Cheers! One more question, if there is any, and then we'll go ahead and take a pic 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 picture. Safety! You look eager. What's up? Oh boy. Wow, impressive. Star! Ah! Star! 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 Or stars. Same time. Just like that. Woohoo! Thank you, everyone, for coming! I'm really glad that I could teach you guys these holiday signs. I really hope you learned something new. And let's go picture! Woohoo! <laughs>